Hey everybody, Tom Barnes. Stories from the 78 in the Westtown neighborhood, home to many iconic spots along Chicago Avenue. And two friends of mine are hoping to add to that list. Both Jess and John started Aged and Infused. It's a cocktail making type of Instagram handle where you can get all these infusions to make your own very special cocktail. They also opened up the happy hour shop. So I'm gonna go talk to Jess now for this story from the 78 and get a whole look-see at what they got going on in here. So I've made my way inside the happy hour shop here in West Town. Look at some of this vintage stuff you got going on here. And that's real vintage stuff. So <laughs> says Jess, one of the owners. How you doing, Jess? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. And I, I first met you guys at like some convention. Yes, at like a trade place. show yeah. two years ago. Yes. And here yes. we are. You have a brick and mortar we that do. is like an extension of the Asian infused yep. uh, Instagram handle that you have yes. and store, if yes. you will. This is like, but this is your dream come to reality here in this it space, is. right? Yes, absolutely. So my husband, John, and I started Aged and Infused here in Chicago back in, oh gosh, 2016. Um, so we've been making a line of these all natural alcohol infusion kits. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really our bread and butter. We absolutely love making cocktails at home. We've been growing in the community ever since. Um, but it's always been a dream of ours to have a brick and mortar space to welcome people into. Um, we also have a huge passion for collecting vintage barware, glassware, cocktail supplies, things like that. Um, so this, we honestly just ran out of room in our own home and figured we might as well open a store. <laughs> so it's a collection of everything that we know and love uh, when it comes to cocktailing. Right, and it's a kind of a, not kind of, it's a little bit of a family affair too outside of just your marriage. Because you have your parents yes. who are recently retired they doing are. their thing as well, yes. right? Yes, so our parents, both John, my husband John's and my parents uh, recently retired and love helping us source for the store. So for instance, all of these really beautiful vintage beer and booze signs. Uh, my mom and dad cruise around Michigan treasure hunting for these. Um, John's parents found this you know, beautiful set of glassware. That's really their bread and butter is just gorgeous glass. So our family is helping us um, big time and it's such a treat to be able to bring them in on this journey. Yeah, that's amazing. And I know I kind of went off script there for a second, but please show me around at some of the things that you want folks to know about. You guys are here Wednesday through... Wednesday through Sunday, God. yes. Okay. And so many... And in addition to the beautiful housewares, glassware, barware, we have so many beautiful cocktail supplies as well. And John and I have been in the, the small booze business for a long time now, so a lot of these products you see are things that we've been using personally, folks that we've met at trade shows. Um, these really you know, beautiful cocktail beautiful. picks, aren't those fun? Um, really great bitters, beautiful glassware, syrups, juices, and then of course, all of our different infusion kits. And this is where everything started for you guys, was kind of this yes, wall here. The, absolutely, yeah, so I would say, the actual cocktail ingredients and making is where we started. Um, but then it grew a love for uh, vintage barware as well. So we have a gorgeous collection of really quirky, fun pieces of barware that they used to make back in the day. These are old Jim Beam decanters from the 60s. Really? Yes. Ah, they're amazing. Uh, these like, you know, ridiculous, gorgeous. We're definitely into the mid-century vibe. This store is very inspired by my grandparents. Um, I inherited a lot of their glassware and barware when they passed away and really just realized that they don't make it like this anymore. Where were your grandparents at? Like uh, they were in Ohio. In Ohio. What were their yep. names? Uh, Bob and Ethel. Bob and Ethel. Yeah. Look at their so legacy lives on their through legacy their granddaughter. Their legacy lives I love it. on. So fun. Um, we have, you know, all sorts of really beautiful new and vintage pieces. Really great housewarming things. Our friend Liz crochets these little cocktail oh, olives fun. for us. So our friends are really, you know, part of this experience too. Um, we have beautiful pieces of barware, of course, but then the vintage is just really nice and mixed in. And if you can't tell, I have a huge obsession with martinis. So you will see olives um, absolutely all over our store. I love the fact that you've woven in new and vintage yes and also people within the community that kind of you use the shop to showcase some of your friends that you yes, were just speaking of absolutely so that's probably you know our favorite part of this whole thing is getting to display uh, for instance our friends mark and steven make these incredible candles up in edgewater edgewater candles we're so excited to carry their line we actually met mark and steven um, at the very first market that we ever did for Aged and Infused. Really? So it's a very full circle moment. Um, and then back here is my, my best friend, Kristen, is a really beautiful artist. So we have 
her paintings and pieces all scattered throughout the store as well. But it's really just such a treat to be able to curate this space with so many things that are meaningful and special to us. Absolutely. And you get, what are your hours like for the days that you're open? And people are coming here for vintage things primarily because of they're hard, so hard to find. Totally. You guys do all the hard work for them. Yes, yes. So we are open um, for now, Wednesdays through Fridays, 12 to 6, Saturdays, 11 to 6, Sundays, 11 to 4. Definitely looking to you know expand those hours as it gets closer to the holidays. Um, and we're actually working with the city right now on licensing to host cocktail classes in here. So that's a really important piece for us to be able to invite people in, um, have them experience these, these products and cocktails that we know and love. Um, so we're very excited to be able to host people very soon. And kind of where you're standing is where the potential yes, cocktail classes will be, this is where right? the magic will happen. Yeah, we've done a few test drives so far. Um, featuring aged and infused, of course, but it's just such a good opportunity for folks to try the different things that we sell as well. And uh, you have two Instagram handles now, one for the shop and one yes. for aged and infused. Why don't you get those out of the way? Yeah, there? so uh, at aged and infused is where you can find all things cocktail, home bar education, alcohol infusion, and then happy hour shop Chicago is where you can find everything about this sweet little space. Oh, I love this cassette library thing Isn't that here. Cool? That is so yeah. old school. Yeah, we found that at a flea market. I, I imagine when that. you do the flea market runs and you go throughout the Midwest here, finding things to kind of curate the space, how many of the things do you have to pull off and, and say, maybe not sell this one, maybe this one stays in the house? That's a great question because we literally <laughs> just did that. Um, I found a piece, so something that I inherited from my grandparents, these beautiful set of hand-painted brass coasters. Oh, um, wow. And we were recently out and about, and for the first time ever, I found a matching uh, dish that goes with it that we had initially bought for the store, but I was like, I'm not selling that. So <laughs> I'd say more often than not, if there's something that really speaks to us, um, we want it to be part of our collection too. So we're just as excited about these pieces as everyone else is. One of my favorite things that we were talking about before we got started was the fact that you get to go on like a little mini road trip every week. Yeah, That's gotta be great. It really is. It's John's and my favorite thing to do to go treasure hunting. So we got very into um, antiquing, you know, thrifting, all that fun stuff years and years ago and honestly just ran out of space in our own home. So the fact that we're still able to go out on these adventures once a week and find these beautiful pieces uh, and be able to bring them to new homes is, I would say, our favorite part of this gig. So is everything in the store that people are at least seeing right now for sale? Oh, yeah, is it, absolutely. Is there anything strictly just for decoration? One thing, actually. So this belonged to my Nana and Papa. So that's my little ode to them in the space. Uh, I wanted to bring a little piece of them to the store. So that's truly the one thing that's not for sale. Everything else is. And we are changing around the inventory every single week. We're always bringing new vintage in. Um, we're always bringing new pieces in, so I, you know, no two times you come in are going to be the same. Awesome. Well, Jess, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. You're right here on Chicago Avenue in West Town. I mean, and you got the West Town Bakery across the street. We're in the coolest location. <laughs> yeah. No temptations here, huh? Yeah, no, definitely not at all. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, and good luck to both of Thanks, you. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. All right, that is the happy hour shop right here. Town, Tom Barnes, Chicago at gmail.com. If you have a story from the 78 suggestion, hit me up there on the website. I got a lot of these things up there, stories from 78.com. I think it's time to head over to Roots for some lunch.